Well, we moved to our new head office building in Bradford about two years ago and there were three things that were really important to us when we looked at whether to locate in Bradford or to go elsewhere. And those were firstly communications. Bradford's right at the heart of the country so it's on the motorway networks and the rail ne networks. And for a business like ours, our staff work out of 400 branches all over the country so having a head office that's located somewhere which is easy to get to is really important. Secondly, uh, we get a very sensible cost structure in Bradford. Um, the cost of uh, accommodation per square foot is quite attractive compared to Leeds or Manchester or, or London and we get a sensible wage bill as well. And thirdly, there's a terrific workforce here. There's some, a great pool of really well educated people with the right sort of uh, skills and the right talent and most importantly the right attitude. So we think it's a great place to locate a business. We've got one very fast growing business. Uh, which was based down in uh, Kent in Chatham and we've recently outgrown the facilities there so we had a choice as to whether to locate our second call centre for that business uh, either adjacent to the existing one in Kent or indeed whether to go offshore or whether to put it somewhere else in the UK and we chose to put it in Bradford. And the reason is because Bradford has a really good uh, pool of uh, uh, potential workers, uh, well educated, they've got good experience and uh, most importantly they've got the right attitude. So. I'm very proud to say we've created 250 uh, new roles in our call centre in, uh, in our new building and we're more than halfway to filling those jobs. Yeah, recruitment's been very straightforward for us. Um, if I was to compare recruiting in Bradford with some of our other locations, we're seeing very few people in Bradford in order to fill each vacancy. In some of our other locations, we may see 10 or 15 people before we find the right one. So recruitment's actually been very straightforward and it's one of the big attractions of locating our operation here. Well, we've got two railway stations, we've got a very good bus network and we've got a, a good community of dormitory towns and villages where the people who work here live and find it easy to commute into, into the city centre. Obviously nearby we've got Leeds Bradford Airport which uh, serves quite a wide range of destinations and if Leeds Bradford doesn't do the job then Manchester's not too far away. The city needs more jobs in the city centre and uh, like other employers working to see those jobs created for the city centre to grow and to flourish it makes it easier for us to attract and retain workers ourselves as well as providing more jobs for the, uh, the local economy as a whole so I'm very positive that I think the, the growth zone should uh, achieve those aims. I'm always surprised by how much has changed and how many new things are going on in the city so I'm very hopeful that the growth zone will continue to enable the city to grow and to flourish. Well, Providence has been through some turbulent times as well as the rest of the country, but I'm pleased to say we're still here, we're serving a growing number of customers, and we've got ambitious plans to expand in the non-standard credit market, and all that growth and expansion will be managed from here in Bradford by our well-qualified and diverse workforce. A uh, very proud Providence of Bradford business, and with the decision we've made to relocate uh, our head office into the city centre of Bradford, I'm proud to say we'll be here for many years to come. Bradford City Council have been tremendously supportive in all our endeavours in uh, locating our new head office uh, in the city. Right from the outset they worked with us to find a suitable location, to find a suitable developer, through to right at the height of the financial crisis when our developer was finding it difficult to fund the project, the council actually stepped in and were able to bridge the gap in the funding in order that we could get the development completed. So Tony Rees and the team have been terrific.